My name is Brendan Coyle. I'm the distiller here at High West Distillery in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we're talking about potato vodka today. Uh, potato vodka, like uh, any other spirits or vodkas, they need to come from an agricultural source to get the starches, to get the sugars, to get the ethanol. So kind of from the beginning, uh, there's a high content of starch in potatoes. There's an enzymatic conversion of that starch to sugars uh, by way of enzymes in what's called the mashing procedure. And once we have those sugars, then we can ferment those sugars, uh, the, excuse me, the, the yeast can ferment those sugars into ethanol. Uh, now that's kind of a typical mash profile for, for a lot of spirits out there. Um, temperatures will change, uh, grains, potatoes, uh, where that starch comes from will change. But uh, when you're talking about potato vodka, you're talking about getting those starches and those sugars from the potato itself. So after the fermentation, uh, it goes into a still, typically a reflux or a column still, something similar to this. This is a pot reflux still. Um, this is a fairly versatile still. It's not truly a column still. It's not truly a pot still, but it can do both fairly well. Um, each place in these columns that you see a window is uh, basically a purification step of the distillation process. It uh, forces the vapor, which is traveling up the column, to pass through a level of liquid condensate. When it passes through that level of liquid condensate, the vapor then gets the opportunity to either pass on as a vapor or recondense back into a, a liquid condensate. So with every step of purification, you have a more pure vodka on and on and on and on up until the point of where you reach your high end limit of the purification through standard distillation of spirits. Um, on this specific still here, we can take off uh, approximately a 96% uh, ABV spirit, which would be a very, very highly refined, pure vodka. Um, when we're talking about vodkas, the purity of vodkas, um, it really depends on where you are in the world. Uh, in the United States, we're not really allowed to add pretty much anything at all besides a small amount of sugar and a small amount of citric acid to our vodkas. Places like uh, other European countries and other places throughout the world, they're allowed to add small doses of essences to their vodka, which can give them a fairly unique complexity on a, on a, on a low level. So it's kind of, kind of difficult to compare American vodkas to, to other, some other vodkas in the world just because of uh, the different legal requirements of really what is a vodka. Um, but uh, there's a number of great vodkas out in the world. Uh, vodka really got its start over in either Poland or Russia. It's kind of up for debate these days as, uh, as far as where it originally came from. Uh, but I think the claim to fame right now is Poland having the original, uh, the original vodka.